Hey, I want to talk for a second about, um, now this happens to be on iFixit, but I'm not going to fault them on this, although I think everybody should know. So this is uh, MG Chemicals uh, Super Cold 134, and I looked at this and I immediately thought, well, this can't be uh, 134A, um, the refrigerant, uh, because that's an actual ozone depleting refrigerant. Um, and we've known about that <clears throat> since it actually came out. Uh, and you can research that. But anyway, so there's your super cold. So I did a little research, and uh, here it is um, on the MG Chemicals site. Super cold 134A. Comes in a couple different spray can options. And here, uh, highlighted 100%. HFC 134A gas. So that is 134A a gas, which is um, really commonly used as a refrigerant. Um, so this is the same thing you could buy uh, the free on this in your car's AC, um, which you can buy in some states. Uh, they're getting $17 for a, it says like a 12 ounce can. Um, and I went to see what, you know, was said about it. And it says recently, I'm not sure what that means, uh, it's uh, restrictions due to climate change. And I'll tell you, in Oregon and Wisconsin, this has been in restrictions for a long time. And it actually says about here that there was a ban in place in Wisconsin back in 94. Now, 94, 2004, 2014, 15, 16, 17, that's 23 years so, uh, 23 years we've known that this stuff depletes ozone. Um, but apparently that ban did not apply to gas, quote, gas dusters, which is uh, basically what this super cold product is. Um, it's meant to be a duster or a freeze spray, um, similar to the, the duster cans you can buy at Walmart, which are not 134A. Uh, they haven't been the same chemical for a while. But anyway... Um, how freaking stupid is this? Um, and I fix it as freezing stuff all over with their videos, on their videos with this. Um, I don't know if they know what they're doing or not, um, but they should. Uh, I'll make them aware and um, I'll send them a message and see what they say back. But uh, seriously, guys, um, 134A in a spray can. Um, so... Um, I don't know what MG Chemicals is thinking either. Um, just because it's legal doesn't mean it's smart. Um, so this is really, really not <laughs> not smart at all. And this in there on MG Chemicals, they say that this is ozone safe. And when 134A came out, it was well known that compared to R12 refrigerant, which is really nasty, 134A was one quarter as ozone depleting, which still means it depletes um, ozone. So the fact that it says ozone safe is um, completely inaccurate. It's, it's, just, a, it's just a lie. Um, and like I said, there's been like, you can see here, there's been restrictions since 94. Uh, it's 24 years. So for this newer product to come out and to be listed as ozone safe when 24 years ago, we knew that it was not ozone safe. Is, is stupid um, and I I mean I'm really I'm really surprised I'm really surprised it's for sale <laughs> it blows my mind but uh, yeah so go you guys at uh, M MG Chemicals um, I'm sure that's not the worst thing they do to screw the environment up but yeah it's, that's horrible <laughs> okay that's it oh and uh, as for cold sprays um, this is the only one they have I'll tell you right now, what's been used in uh, refrigerant industries for a long time is uh, CO2. Uh, we bottle it out of the air. Um, CO2 is non-ozone depleting. Uh, CO2 gets uh, much uh, colder than that stuff will. So there's uh, CO2. It's carbon dioxide. It's everywhere. Um... So we bottle it out of the air, we compress gas to get it, and then um, 
when we use it, it goes back into the atmosphere where we took it from. Um, so uh, it's pretty much on reactive. You can make it into a dry ice, um, kind of like this. Uh, even little dry ice flakes. I don't know if they have any in any photos, but uh, yeah. So you can get uh, dry ice flakes uh, with the if you spray the liquid onto a solid surface, and uh, that's really good for freezing stuff as well. But um, <clears throat> yeah, and as long as you know, your dry ice, um, as long as you're not in a room where all you're breathing is CO2, uh, you're you're perfectly fine. Uh, it's safe to be around. And, you know, you can make fog and all kinds of other stuff with it. But totally safe and totally a product that could be sold and is sold in larger containers where you can get liquid CO2 and freeze all kinds of stuff uh, really, really cold. Um, so uh, negative, nev negative 78 degrees Celsius um, versus this cold spray, which might get stuff down to negative 51 um, or or it says negative 50 negative 60 Fahrenheit comparison here is negative 109 Fahrenheit so um, this is not super cold and it depletes ozone anyway um, I hope that was informative although bitchy